We know today that 75% of our calorie intake comes from 12 plants and 5 animals and none of them comes from aquatic foods or blue foods. The, the diversity in the, in the blue food group is, is enormous, especially of the more low impact and healthy types of blue foods. When we look at the blue food, uh, the, the bigger group of blue foods, most of them score lower than what red meat is doing in, in terms of these key environmental dimensions. Blue food would mean um, different types of aquatic foods produced in both marine and freshwater environments, so lakes, rivers, both animals and plants and algae. And this is an enormously diverse food category with more than 2,500 species produced in the world and very various production systems as well, spanning from seaweed farming outside of Indonesia, salmon farming in Norway, small pelagic fisheries outside of South America, and tuna fisheries in the high seas. So the first is um, the attractiveness from a nutritional perspective. So blue foods tends to be very high in, in key nutrients. And if we compare with something as common as, as chicken, oysters and mussels can have more than 76 times more vitamin B12 and carbs can have more than nine times the amount of, of calcium. And it's often when looking at the global population, we, we know that these micronutrients are, are really, really key for these undernourished people in, in many coastal regions globally. But of course, it also can play an important role for us in the more well-nourished parts of the world where red meat consumption is a big threat on our health. The second key benefit from, from blue food is it can be good for the planet if choosing the right type of blue food. When people think about blue foods, many of us tend to think about tuna, shrimp, salmon. The, the diversity in the, in the blue food group is, is enormous. Low impact blue foods are small pelagic fish, so anchoveta, mackerel, herring, like silvery small fish, essentially, and tends to have a, a very attractive nutrient profile and also have a very low impact on the environment. Uh, given how they are how they are caught in in capture fisheries, and and furthermore, uh, seaweeds or algae is another quite exciting category that that we could explore much more. Farmed uh, mussels or other filter feeding organisms that is not requiring any feed that needs to be added, but can actually take up nutrients from from the water, and can also create habitat, uh, an environment for other other species to live in. I do believe that it is important to enhance our, our blue food literacy among the population, the general public. I think, of course, media have an important role to play when it comes to educating consumers and, and create excitement for, for new species. Um, but also, of course, chefs, other uh, influencers that can, that can help us cook other types of seafood and not be so scared about buying a mussel or uh, even a seaweed type of, of food and, and explore at home or in restaurants.